All right, so we are going to be going over now how to make the timer to have this accurate to the in-game clock. Um, so if you only clicked on this video to learn how to make the timer and not how it relates to the clock, please skip ahead to minute 220. If you would like to learn how to make a real in-game scrolling clock, please click on the link at the end of this video. This timer can be featured on the inner workings of the clock seen in basically every Let's Play of Doodle Bros Gaming Presents Minecraft Let's Plays. Look at that in the background there. It's absolutely gorgeous. These are set up so they're automatic. As soon as a block goes in front of it, it pushes it. And we gotta remember this is the front of the clock here. The back left one is how I have it set up. So instead of having it automatic like that, you're gonna have it set up that whenever it receives a pulse uh, from the redstone, it is going to activate. So you're gonna have the redstone there, but underneath, you're going to set up just like this, and then one more underneath. One, two, you're going to put one like this, and you see when you place one here, it turns off that one right there. And then just have it just like that. So, if I put a block here, if I get out a switch, put it there, put that there, every time I hit the switch, this will turn that off, turning this back on, activating that. So let's do it. Perfect. Again, every time I put, every time that gets a pulse, it's going to activate this, turn that one off, turn this one on, and activate the whole mechanism. Nice thing about this is, as soon as that turns off, it's going to turn it one click. So, how do we make a timer? for that to function. Okay, so here is how you build this. The ti hopper timer. You're going to need redstone, redstone torch. You're going to need redstone repeaters and comparators, comparators. Um, and then you are going to need blocks. I'm going to use gray concrete. Yes. Okay. Oh, you also need hoppers, obviously. It is literally in the name of what you're going to need. Okay, so for hoppers, um, you're going to have two facing one another. So we'll just place down one, and then you have to... Oh, I'm flying. You have to crouch. And then you see once you crouch, you got the one hopper leaning into the other. Get rid of this one. Nope. Get rid of this one. And you add it in like so, so that they are both facing one another. Now I'm going to go to a flying aerial view here. Okay, so you're going to place four blocks. You skip one space here, skip one space here. You put one here, up and over here. Okay. You're going to take your redstone repeaters and you're going to have one going this direction into that gray block, one going this direction into that gray block, one going this direction, like so. Redstone torch. You're going to have one here, one here, one here, and one here. This redstone do one, two, three, four. Spin one. Redstone repeater. One, two. Gonna have redstone going into that. And then up this way here. And then connect those like so. Then you're going to have comparators going this direction and this direction. Good. 
Okay. So once that is done, take one of the hoppers, put in the blocks. As you see, it starts emptying. Once that switches, it's going to give a dose, a pulsed dose that lights up one side, like so. It's in the other one, it's going to start emptying. And when this one empties completely, it's going to give a pulse dose this way. In three, two, one. Beautiful. And then what you'll have is this running off and connecting to here underneath. So that every time that gives a pulse dose, it turns that off, turns this on, and pushes the block. That'll be there. Let's go see that on the actual clock. We have our nice clock here. Oh, look at the little turtle. We have it set up. Same exact clock we just built. And everything's connected right to here. When that hits that, turns that off, turns that on, and you have that right there. Let's see where we're at. Okay. So that literally just moved. Okay. Now, let's just pretend that that switch is over. And I'll, I have this little switch here to indicate that. As you see, we hit this. Everything moves. Again, everything moves. Beautiful. All right, how many items do we need in our hopper to keep accurate time? I love stupid math, so here we go. One Minecraft day is 20 minutes or 24,000 ticks. A 20 ticks per second or one tick every 0 0.05 seconds. Our scrolling banner is 29 blocks long. Every time a hopper changes, it also lags four ticks. So account for that. 29 times four is 116. Subtract that from 24,000 to get 23,884. You divide that by 29 blocks and you get 823.596 ticks per block. You divide that by 20 ticks and you get 41.1798 seconds. A hopper transfers 2.5 items per second. So you divide or you multiply 41 times 2.5 and you get 102.949 items. Basically 103 items needed. So I have my, my hopper timer here uh, set with 103 blocks, or I'm sorry, 100 and, yeah, 103 blocks. Um, I have this set to noon, and I have a lever here powering this hopper so it does not empty. Um, I did not connect this yet. I'm going to do that after. Um, and what you would do in survival mode is just wait for it to become noon. What I'm doing, because I'm in creative mode, is turning this back to daylight cycle. And as soon as it hits noon, I'm going to, and I got my clock on the right there, as soon as it hits noon, I'm going to flip the lever, and then I'm going to go over and connect the redstone. There we go. So I hit that, as you can see, the hopper is emptying. I'm gonna go over and connect this. And as soon as that hopper empties, you see here. Now, it's not gonna be perfect every time the clock changes in my hand. Um, this is not gonna change because this only has 27 um, different 27 different uh, changes it can make, and the clock has way more than that. Um, so you watch here, it should be in about a second or two. Changes over. All right, 
Thanks for watching. To check out more videos, click on the link at the end to see how to build this clock. Uh, click on the, the video link and it will take you to that. I hope you check out some of our Minecraft videos or some of the other videos on the page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.